Hello everybody, welcome to Travel and Joy. Uh, this time we are going to watch KDHP Co. Uh, Tea Museum. That is nothing more but Kanandevan Hill Plantation Company Tea Museum, which is known as KDHP Co. Ripple Tea Museum. The Ripple Tea Museum is located in Munar. Of course, there is a small entry fee, which is not much. But here, what you can see is that you can see a lot of ancient instruments used in 1900, uh, 1900, I mean 1800 and 1913s. So here, what you can see is that this is a uh, ancient uh, sundial, uh, which used to uh, measure the time by the shade for, uh, fell on this scale. So like this, you can see a lot of. Uh, ancient instruments inside here so when you enter inside the first room you can see a lot of stuff from uh, wild animals so uh, it's skull and uh, everything preserved uh, this was used in old Bangalore's uh, for as a um, beauty item so in most of the Bangalore's you can find this and they have preserved a iron age burial which is so ancient which is in a glass covered pack so we, can, we are not able to take a clear picture and followed by that you can see um, the magazines which tells the stories of uh, old tea workers and you can find a lot of things like that over here um, so first the part you enter is into a museum uh, where you can find, uh, introduce with a lot of you can see the f picture of first bike introduced in Mona by the KDHP and Co. and um, the flooring tiles used in 1865, uh, the roofing tiles, flooring tiles, everything used in 1865. Uh, like that, a lot of uh, old stuff. Also in the museum, you can find uh, the old measuring instruments used there uh, to weigh the tea uh, strips, then the magnifying glasses, etc. Or they're used in uh, 1800s and 1913s. Also, you can find the first Pelton wheel introduced in 1900 and in 1910 several factories started generating their own electricity. So that first Pelton wheel is um, demonstrated in the Ripple Tea Museum. Next, what you can see is a work table of 1800 you can find uh, how the work table of those time looks like with a telephone some typewriting kind of machines and that uh, ledger books uh, on which they were working and the book is protected with a glass covering so that uh, no one can touch it and the first original tea roller from 1905 this is the first tea, tea roller how it was looking like one of the locomotive wheels 
uh, used in 1924 uh, means uh, 1908 to 1924 and you can uh, see a lot of instrument used those time uh, for pesticides dusters then telephones um, winding phones um, yeah, entertainment uh, instruments used those days in the bangalows like that let's go and watch it And the most interesting thing I found is that uh, the telephone exchange used in, uh, used in those times. A hundred line telephone exchange. You can see that it, it was so interesting. Uh, unlike nowadays, it see it's all like a uh, hundred board in down and hundred board in upsides with a lot of uh, moving wires. I think you can find almost 20 to 20 wires like that. Um, so I think parallelly they can transfer almost 20 lines. Uh, and a, a receiver to uh, receive the calls and uh, identify to which extension they need to transfer it and they can plug that plug into the required ex extension and um, sorry for the uh, video is not so clear because it's also protected with a massive glass box so I have a lot of light problem but still I have tried my best to cover it you, know, you can see that what you saw just now is a model of a coin introduced in 1900s by kdhp co uh, to use as a coin in between the employees and the alua muna road construction and uh, as i told be before um, you can see a lot of entertainment instrument used in the bangalore during 1900s and all uh, like the transistor radios, um, film roll projectors, uh, bath tubs, etc. And the cooking range used in the Bangalore's during 1900s and you can see a lot of clocks used uh, during those times and uh, after this we are just moving to the 30 minutes documentary about the KDHP and company uh, but they are not allowed to record videos during that uh, 30 minutes documentary so I'll be switching off my video and I'll be resuming the video after that um, 30 minutes documentary about the KDHP co uh, company and then we will be moving to the tea, muse tea factory visit. Alright, so let's go to the tea museum now where, and we can see how the different varieties of teas are uh, prepared. Um, so straight away it's uh, taking us to a place where they dry the tea leaves. Uh, this is the place where, where they dry the tea leaves and uh, you can see a weighing machine. Um, this is to weigh the uh, bulk tea leaves and they dry it from here. So let's see uh, how it's happening. And we have an employee from uh, Ripple Museum explaining us the different grades of uh, tea leaves, how the tea leaf grading is done. So he is explaining the dark leaves 
leaves uh, will be used for regular tea and the light leaves uh, will be used for green tea and the fine bud will be used for the white tea so he is explaining us uh, how the grading is happening and uh, the grading will be uh, done from uh, here after the drying and uh, it will be taken to the tea roller machine which we can see on the coming video Now we are in the next stage of tea processing uh, which starts from the orthodox tea roller. Um, so this is the tea roller. So from here is the second process starting. And uh, with us we have Mr. Shagar from uh, Ripple Tea Museum. He will be explaining us how the different kinds of teas are made. Like the regular tea, green tea, uh, white tea and black tea. I'm um, sorry. I'm we are discussing in the local language so um, you may not be able to understand much but still he is just explaining us uh, what are the kinds of teas black tea this is black tea this is green tea this is black tea Green tea, I don't know. Green tea, I don't know. I don't know. I don't so that's how the grading is done as he explained the most matured leaves are taken for the regular tea and the less matured uh, tea leaves are taken for the black tea and again much less matured leaves are taken for the green teas and the bud for the white tea which is the most expensive tea uh, he is telling that it cost 12,000 rupees for one kilo of white tea now let's see how the drying and the grading is done again after the powder is made. So after extracting the green tea and uh, white tea, uh, the processed uh, raw regular tea uh, will be uh, moved uh, to a heating container and this is the place where all the raw regular tea powder will be um, heated so uh, you can feel the smell it smell very it gives a awesome flavor of the tea when you smell it because it's a raw or uh, just dried uh, after the processing so from here uh, the processing happens So uh, after separating the waste, this is the place where the tea grading happens. So just now what we saw is that machine which separates the waste and see uh, Shaker is taking the raw um, tea powder. This is ungraded, mm. it's a regular tea uh, roll. So from here the grading is happening. Like it is separated to uh, tea bags, black tea, uh, regular tea, and strong tea and normal tea. grading medium strong tea bag. Okay, so. Uh, like this one is like medium, medium, strong, strong tea bag. Tea bag. 
അപ്പൊ ഇതാണ് ടീ ബാഗിന് ഉള്ളത് ഇത് സ്ട്രോങ് മീഡിയം ചായപ്പൊടി ലൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രേഡിംഗ് ഇത് ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് നടക്കുന്നത് and after grading that uh, tea powders are uh, separated based on the grading like uh, strong tea medium tea light tea regular tea tea bags etc so this is how the entire tea processing is happening so um, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the processing and um, now let's see the different kinds of teas everybody enjoyed the tea museum tour uh, and uh, we have gone through how the different grades of teas are made and different kinds of teas are made so uh, now we are uh, just we thought of introducing the teas what we have bought from there so you can have the price experience as well what how it cost and all so uh, we have bought few varieties of teas and uh, first let's see uh, the normal tea itself uh, this is the regular dust tea which cost 200 rupees for half kg that is 500 grams cost us 200 rupees so that is the regular tea uh, price and uh, we have bought few varieties of black teas uh, they have flavored black teas over there so we have bought some pot flavored this is what uh, natural vanilla flavored and uh, rose flavored and i have ginger flavored and elachi and the price when it goes it's uh, 90 rupees for 100 grams of black tea so it's slightly again bit uh, costly as you know the most matured leaves are taken for the uh, regular dust tea and bit less matured leaves are taken for the black tea and again the most um, less matured the pale green leaves are used for the white tea as we go to turn to this sorry green tea uh, i'm sorry thanks for that it's green tea so the green tea what we bought is a rose flavored one again so when you open it you can see how it looks like see this is how the tea looks like it's not a powder it's the real uh, green leaves itself dried and put it like that and uh, it comes in a good fantastic box and the price goes uh, when we see the price it's 750 rupees for 100 grams of green tea so you can see the price difference here it was 200 grams uh, sorry 500 grams for 200 rupees and here it is 100 grams for uh, 750 rupees that much price variation is there because the green tea is without oxidation and uh, without drying so uh, no oxidation nothing and so uh, we goes to the most expensive tea which is the white tea as we see can see uh, the ripple tea white tea and uh, they have mentioned it here uh, ripple white tea is made from the most tender and finest buds of a unique tea with a beauty, uh, beautiful leaf a multi brew tea it uh, produces a light colored cup with exceptional aroma and flavor and good amount of antioxidants so the fine buds are used for the white tea uh, so that's the reason it's very expensive during the grading part uh, mr shagar have explained us sorry it was in local language but still i think it's understandable um, it, it's very expensive so when you see the price over here it's a 25 grams box and this 25 grams box cost us 450 rupees so highly expensive Let's see how it looks like. Uh, sorry, we didn't. We haven't yet opened it. Uh, so this is how it looks like. See, the fine bud straight away dried and packed. So you know how expensive it will be. So let's try a white tea and uh, wind up the ripple tea tea muse. My size also with us. Okay. Um, let's to taste, <laughs> to taste the white tea. <laughs> She's a real tea lover actually. So let's see how to let's try white tea now. So um, let me put some white tea buds. It is a little long, but that's enough for two cups of tea. Let's try some.
Yeah, it's for you as well. Now see, it's not much difference. A light color, see, light, clear golden color. It's if you observe closely. I'm not sure whether you are able to see the color change. It's just a golden color. That's it. I'm not sure whether you can observe this is pure water and this is the white tea. So just a pale gold, light gold only. That's the only the difference between uh, white tea and normal water. So our white tea is ready. Let's taste it. You can taste it as tea. Wow! You can, uh, as they mentioned, you can feel the uh, feel that aroma flavor in that. Yes. Nice. Okay. You want? Okay. Alright. This is as you <laughs> usual how you have tea. Mm -hmm. How is it? How is it? Mm. <laughs> He's telling it's not sweet. <laughs> he didn't like because there is no sugar. Mm. Still she's having. <laughs> Alright, okay. so thank you very much for watching this video. So hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, please do like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much.